LCM1 AC. Go ahead, AC. Okay, evaluating the uh, uh, SRV, we're most likely uh, uh, getting above the uh, call uh, cycles of this valve. Uh, we still have two uh, plus hours to go, so uh, most likely exceeding the, uh, the call value. Uh, we do not have a path to proceed uh, uh, further at this point. Roger. So uh, at this point, your recommendation is to uh, secure operations for today? That is correct. Roger. LD, LC on channel one. Yes, sir. Um, LD concurred with that. Roger. Uh, flight and slick, channel one. Flight, sir. Slick's on channel one. Yeah, Roger. Uh, so the engineering team has evaluated um, the vehicle is not uh, in a configuration where we can proceed with uh, flight today. So uh, we're going to initiate uh, our scrub and recycle operation. Uh, echoing what, uh, what Ken and Steve said, this was really more about flight rules than it was about the significance of the event, and I'll explain what I mean by that. Our philosophy is we don't change the fueled state of the vehicle when the crew is present. You can do it otherwise from that, and other people do, but that's our philosophy, and so we built our flight rules around that in our procedures, in our decision points. What occurred, as was said, is that we have a mechanical valve that uh, vents the eldridge pressure on the lock, so it's venting gas. It's not dissimilar to many other valves like that. You have one in your home on your hot water tank that's not all that different. And every now and again, in rare occasions, a valve like that can get into a position where it's just off the seat, its temperature, its stiffness, everything is just right, and it'll flutter, or it'll buzz in this case, in cycle. And that uh, we've seen that before. We've seen a sustained buzz like this on AV53. We've seen short buzzes maybe three or four times. And what you would typically do is activate the solenoid that forces the valve closed, cycling the valve, if you will, and then you turn that off and you let it return, and it almost always stops. It has, in fact, stopped. Once we had the crew off, we cycled the valve and it stopped buzzing. If this were a satellite, that is our standard procedure, and the satellite would already be in orbit. But that changes the state of the fueled centaur, and we don't do that when people are present. And so our flight rules caused us, called for us, to scrub and to take the crew off before we cycled that valve. So that is what has happened.